Well, hello, hello, and welcome into this Roulette Rivals 6 match between Toby Norton and I Like Hitman. Don't we all like Hitman, though? No. Uh, I am your host, Gunther, and joined, uh, joined with me is uh, GK Punk. That was a sentence that I said. Say hi to the lovely folks, Punky. Hey, everybody. And uh, yeah, we're going to be bringing you this match. Uh, spin should be live in about 52 seconds. Uh, Punky is our admin, so... Uh, thank you very much, Punky, for doing that, taking care of this at this late hour. Uh, real quick, yeah. if you're new to Roulette Rivals or if you just need a quick refresher, it's very simple. They pick one of the main missions from the World of Assassination Trilogy. They're then given a random kill condition and disguise condition for each of the main targets of the map. They then have an hour to complete that spin. The first player to do so with a five-star silent assassin rating and get out gets two points. If after an hour, neither player has finished the spin, it's a draw. Each player gets one point, and obviously a loss is worth Zero points. If after two maps we're still tied, we go to a third map, which is randomly decided, and they have infinite time to complete the spin. So it's until someone dies, forfeits, or somebody gets out with five star silent assassin. So uh, yeah, it should be a good one. We are in the lower bracket finals for the console side of the tournament, and the spin is now live. Okay, for Haven Island, we have Tyson Williams with an explosive weapon while disguised as a boat captain. Stephen Bradley with Drowning while disguised in the suit, and Ludmilla Vitrova with a scalpel while disguised as the snorkel instructor. Okay, so a little bit of uh, running running around, but the explosive weapon itself is not a loud explosive weapon, so they can bring a breaching charge for that. We're going to see a suit start uh, because of the Bradley kill. Um, and yeah, and the snorkel instructor always gives me trouble whenever I try to get his disguise, so let's see how these players handle it. Yeah, Snorkel Instructor is probably going to be a bit of a problem. That has been a problem. But I even think, yeah. pe 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 you know, seekering him or getting him in the bush is a bit complicated. The suit killed, he do they don't need to really start as a, the suit because the swimwear inside. Oh, you're right, at the shark hut. Shark hut, yeah, that one counts. You're absolutely right. I completely forgot that that was even available. Okay. Well, I like Hitman is already in. Uh, Tinor is loading currently. But he will be here soon. There he goes. Okay, so Tinor opting to start at the villa. Uh, we do see a suit start from I like Hitman. Looks like he's going for the early Stephen Bradley isolation, getting him sick. Yeah, and with the suit, he can finish it off, finish the kill off uh, right away, too. It doesn't have to right. set him up or anything. He can't really set him up since it's a. Since it is a live kill. Yes. Yeah. Looks like he might be going to uh, isolate Ludmilla in the meantime. He's got a seeker dart loaded up into a spot yes. under the bridge for the uh, for the this shot. Is, I guess this is box standard for this map, at least at this point. How many times have you seen that exact shot lately? Oh yeah, so. absolutely. But I mean, you know, if it's not fixed or if it's not broken, don't don't fix it, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's how the creation of meta strats happen. It's something effective, and then you do it over and over. Right. Well, and speaking of meta strats, we're seeing the uh, the traditional Tyson isolation here by uh, by T Nort. Yeah, Nort's going for the early isolation here. This is a of... kill he can set up remotely. Um... Yeah, that's right. He's just. Drop, dropping the breaching charge. And, uh, yeah, he'll grab the bodyguard disguise to get him around the island a little bit simpler. But, uh, he does need the boat captain disguise before he can actually trigger it. I like Hitman, in the meantime, has, uh, isolated Ludmilla. And Ludmilla just needs to be killed with a scalpel as a snorkel instructor. Now, I, for one, don't know where the scalpel is. However... If uh, I did have such a question, I can go to hitmaps.com, your one-stop shop for all your Hitman needs, and you can uh, you can search for the uh, scalpel and find exactly where it is, figure out your routing, all that good stuff, all from the comfort of your computer, laptop, phone device, whatever it is. It's good times. I like Hitman's going for Stephen Bradley after the knockout of... That was uh, very well played. Uh, you you risk the spin there uh, from Stephen Bradley, hearing the knockout and seeing seeing the body of the bodyguard, but he does manage to take care of the knockout and drown quick enough. 
Grab himself an iron for the road. And I'm guessing this is where you so, get the scalpel from? I want to say, yeah, yeah so the, yeah, it right. looks like it's inside the cabinet there. It's I love the use of the Non-conventional way of opening it in the Hitman world. But, uh, but I love it. I like, I like the idea that 47 can do nothing simply. He, he must make it as complicated as possible. Tinor, meanwhile, yeah. uh, grabbing his suit, uh, grabbing the, uh, the swimwear, which does count on this map, as uh, Punky has told us. So here, man, here, here's uh, the challenging part, trying to seek or the snorkel instructor, also known as NPCJ. <laughs> he is a, uh, yeah, I, I very much worry about this. Is he going for the, the knockout in the bushes? Yeah, it looks like that's what he attempted. He got the attention of a lifeguard and said, right. T-Nor got a seeker shot on Steven. He's on his way to the bathroom. And he's already got his suit disguised. I'm guessing with the timing of this, we're going to see a little bit of a safer knockout for his bodyguard. He's going to just follow him into the laundry room here. Yeah. Meanwhile, I like Cape Man gets a pretty nice shot onto the snorkel instructor with the seeker dart. So it's looked good for him too. This is Nort's pick. This is Norton's pick, yes. Now, I, I don't know who has advantage right now exactly, because I like Hitman still has the entirety of the Tyson setup, but he's not, like, insanely difficult to isolate down the line. It's just, it's also kind of nice to already have that kill set up, as t -Nort does. Because um, Lugmilla and Stephen Bradley are probably a bit easier to take care of, especially since t -Nort has already almost got Bradley out of the way. Oh, no, he does. He's already oh, yeah. him. Yeah, they're they're even for kill. I would say T-Nort's ahead because of... Because of the isolation. The cycle on of yeah. Yeah, Tyson. T-Nort's going for a pistol shot with the... With the, uh, yeah. With the guard, with the I mean, lifeguard. He's, he still seems fine. Yeah. I mean, he's and fine. he is in the guard disguise, so that, that does make things a little bit easier. Okay, I like Hitman with the scalpel. He's got the snorkel instructor. And uh, there's the Ludmilla kill. Not going to bother hiding the body. Saving some precious yeah, seconds there. Nice. Now it's just a matter of the boat captain disguise and uh, Tyson's kill. Now, do you go for the boat captain disguise first here? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, actually, because it is, like you said, it's a, it can be used as a remote trap kill. So can get him on your way back but does look like he's, he's using uh, the good old briefcase right the safest way to medic and he does land it yeah it looks like he's going for this guy's first uh Tino toby did this. i'm sorry yeah. go ahead funky yeah, Toby got the snorkel instructor disguise. I'm guessing you were gonna say the same thing. So no, uh, buff guy just asked if Toby already got the uh, Tyson isolation, and he did. He did, yeah. He started Villa and, yes. and took care of it early. The North uh, heading back. To the laundry. Uh, oh, he's picking up his picking up his pickup. Yeah. Uh, from what I could hear of his game audio, it sounded like he was uh, kind of self-criticizing about not having picked up the dark gun. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I heard the same thing. It's. I can understand the stress. This is the game that takes you to the final. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, uh, yeah, Toby is, uh, hoping for a rematch here, uh, against Ducker, as Ducker is the reason he is in the lower bracket to begin with. So, if he manages to pull this off, it will be a rematch for the finals. Okay, so now, as, uh, 
I like Hitman is approaching the villa. It's like his lead is increasing as he's closing the gap mm -hmm. there. Right, because he just has to get the kill and get out. T North needs to get a kill in like 30 seconds to maintain or keep up even with I like Hitman. And it does look like uh, Ludmilla is uh, being a bit of a pain. The timing just kind of worked out that she was going into the restaurant at the exact moment that he needed her not to. Oh, I like Hitman. Appears to be doing the server. I mean, he's got a poisonous flower with him. Got the secret shot, Toby North. That's a risky seeker shot, but he does manage to get her, so that should be her isolated in the bathroom. Um, barring catastrophe. Okay, I, I like this optimization here. He's got the boat cap moving as well. But as soon as he takes care of this Ludmilla kill, he should be able to take care of uh, getting the boat cap in disguise. I like Hitman going for the uh, the server isolation down here. As he uh, he's busting all the servers, and this should get uh, this should get Tyson downstairs, correct? Yeah, he's the only remaining target, so he will be the one. You know, obviously, the other two can't get here at the moment. Right. I mean, it would really be a different kind of game if they could. Okay, so North's now one kill away. He has, he half has the disguise. He's so close uh, because one. I mean, if he can get the boat captain, if he can get the boat captain, he's right next to an exit. Um, he is, and he's waiting for. I don't know the game sound. He's waiting for the hat man, as he's saying. <laughs> Wait for him to pass. Oh so right, okay. Out. Gotta knock him out before he opens the door. Oh, he gets it. So, T it's looking good for Tinor. He's just yeah. gotta press a button. Yeah, he's gonna get to the water ski here. Meanwhile, I like Hitman has some uh, some isolating to do. And that's a big whoosh. At the worst possible time. Yeah, it's looking I mean, good here for... Okay, yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, that's well, a I like Hitman just... That's a yeah, rip. That's a... So, yeah, I mean, Tinor's going to make it out, and uh, yeah, that should be a very, very quick admin confirmation by our admin, who is GK Punk. So, right, Tinor is excited or angry. I don't know. He sounds the same for both, um, in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, uh, he does say "f you" to you when you <laughs> greet him, and when he's angry at you. So, who it's, knows? it's his aloha. Uh, all right. So, congrats to Tinor. Exactly. Uh, there's the there's the prediction payout. Now that was uh, T Nort's map pick. Uh, both players did incredibly well. That that was first try. Uh, unfortunately, I like Hitman ripping real late there. Uh, but yeah, just really uh, really well played by both players. T Nort obviously having to kind of improvise on the fly, taking care of that Ludmilla kill because she wasn't exactly where he needed her to be, uh, just due to the timing. But um, yeah, well played. All right, we'll start another prediction here in just a second. Uh, we are going to Whittleton Creek. I'm just going to put WC for the, uh, for the for the prediction because I like Hitman's name is a bit too long. But uh, but yeah. Uh, Whittleton Creek is where we're going next. We see uh, we see Toby uh, loading in, doing that preload. I haven't seen a preload from my like Hitman yet, but I'm guessing that we will uh, just before it goes. It's always good to get those out the way early. All right, so let's let's. Uh... <laughs> Chris pointing out he's he's usually ex angry. Uh, Max Masters with some USA chants. Um, 
meme with uh, when the first half was done properly. Yeah, GG Satobi, that was well done. That was a fairly close match until... I was incredibly close until the uh, the big whoosh. I mean, the, the server isolation is definitely way riskier than uh, T-Nort's early isolation from the villa. Yeah, Tyson's isolation can be like... It's, I think it's... It, it's a... Probably can be a really reliable, but like certain players that came up with it first, they probably are very good at it. It's yeah, absolutely. Gonna be hard for other players to implement it because as you as you play, for at least in my experience, when you try to implement somebody else's strategy, you have to make it your own. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, I think that T Nort's Haven is incredibly strong, whereas Haven is a map that there are a lot of players who would rather avoid it because unless you know it, it it can be kind of a thorn in your side. Yeah, he 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 did he did fairly well. Like only mistake he had is he he realized when he didn't pick up didn't his pick up agency, agency pick up right away. Exactly, and if he had picked that up, he wouldn't have had to worry about the timing with Ludmilla. He would have caught her way early enough, uh, so she wouldn't have done the restaurant thing. We we'd see him hit that finish button uh, even earlier, probably by like a minute, minute and a half or so. Uh, we'll have the spin live for Whittleton Creek here in about 35 seconds. Uh, so get your predictions in. I'll try and remember to close the predictions before the spin goes live. So, uh, yeah, get, get those submitted in. Uh, what does everybody want to see? Uh, Punky, what's your ideal spin since you have no no control over it whatsoever? Uh, <laughs> you prefer no hat comment? Hatchet kill. Hatchet kill. Yeah, see? Hatchet yeah. kill. We've already seen suit hat trick kill, and uh, I'm still so yeah, tickled I, I pink was, about that. That was hilarious how yeah. we were talking about it, and it showed up, and I wanted yeah. to type it so badly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. His predictions are closed. The spin is live. We have Janus with an electrocution while disguised as Cassidy's bodyguard, and we have Cassidy with an explosive accident while disguised as the police deputy. Okay. So I have no idea how I'd go about doing this, but I'm guessing that we'll see an isolation of Janus downstairs, uh, drag him to the bathroom, and sink stuff. That's that's my guess. That's probably how I would do that. Um, can you explode the car in the garage for Nolan? Out of curiosity. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it lo does look like one of those cars that does, it does explode. Yeah. So. I want to uh, say yes, but if somebody's actually tried it, then feel free to let me know. Yeah, please. Please do let us know in the chat. There is a... Uh, so you can drive by Nolan pretty much everywhere. Yeah, he does go basically walk around the whole area with cars, so... Why well, like Hitman is immediately in. Opting for the suit starch. Uh, looks like T-Nort is going for the gardener disguise first. Yeah, I imagine he's going to go for uh, the the police deputy first. Hmm. Uh, I like Hitman with Cassidy's bodyguard disguise already. Yeah, it looks like I like Hitman might be going for Janus at this point. Oh, for, for Unless Janus, he gets, okay. Yeah, you, you might be right. He might be going for the disguise, too. There is a deputy here that's arguing with a gardener. Right, I remember that. Now, I've seen this deputy be picked up for disguises before, and sometimes it can kind of cause issues if you have to double back. So I'm guessing that we'll probably see the Janus kill first before we see the, uh, the deputy disguise change, but uh, I don't know. Uh, T-Nort, hopping right in. Uh, using the uh, the overpowered snail. Now is he? <laughs> I think uh, I think Tinort just accidentally triggered the proximity snail. Oh, he triggered it himself. Oh, and meanwhile, yeah. I like Hitman gets a nice peekaboo on Janus, following oh, wonderful. him straight into the bathroom, and gets the kill electrocution that kill live. Is so really fast. nice. So fast. Well nice. done. Yeah, that saves so much time for him because now and he doesn't have to worry about dragging, doesn't have to worry about hiding or anything, and Tnort has to restart. Am I mistaken? Is Tnort isolating the sheriff? 
If he's wearing pants, then yes. I thought he was wearing pants. Yeah, so the deputy is the uh, the other guy, not the unique disguise. The Sheriff Masterson is the unique disguise. Right. Okay, well that that can be that can be pretty heartbreaking if uh as we Yeah. We won't be able to tell him until he's done the wrong kill condition. That's that's yeah, that's the rule according to Frody. The unwritten rule. <laughs> Okay, meanwhile, you know, I like Hitman like is Hitman. grabbing the uh, the clue here. Uh, I think he's taking care of the security cameras already. I was wrong. No, he's taking care of them now, though. So yeah, the I like Hitman looks very solid. I think that Janus kill kind of showed that play that yeah, he, uh, that's so practiced. That's his map. This yeah. is his map. Hearing some uh, some frustration over on T North side, it it seems like just the nerves of of this being the lower bracket finals is kind of getting to him. Um, is, we all know T North is an incredible hitman player, but uh, but yeah, when you're in the thick of the moment, yeah, I I don't know if I should say, but it's like a hot take about uh, players. I guess if you're in the semifinal, you have to keep calm and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I, I, you would expect the players in the semifinals and the finals. I, I'm not saying to uh, not be frustrated. The frustrating is part of this game. Yeah. Just playing casually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tournaments aside. Uh, yeah. But uh. But yeah. No. I. I mean. I'm sure that the nerves and stuff like that must be outrageous. Oh yeah. Right definitely. Now. But okay. So the, my point was is like uh, from players. Uh, like you have to learn to overcome or you know subside most of it right when you're playing that's what I, that's my point right yes okay i like hitman going for the deputy disguise now uh this is uh this is a nice safe lore and uh even gonna even gonna calmer just to make doubly sure that yeah i like hitman's extremely cautious with all his disguise picks even in haven island he calmer right uh NPCs and safe spots. Which makes sense. I mean, in Roulette Rivals, we've seen tons of times when bodies have been found that have never been found before because one NPC decided to just wander this way this one time. So I, I can certainly understand the caution. Um, this is some good map oh, knowledge yeah, as sure. well. Uh, I like Hitman staying out of range of, uh, of Nolan when he's by the bug swat van uh, to keep him from uh, starting his phone call. If we do yeah, go to a decider game. after this, uh, mm -hmm. the band maps are Mumbai and Bangkok, so we will not see those, but the rest of the Hitman maps are up for grabs. That Interesting. Is a... uh, knocks out Nolan. He's got the EMP, the EMP for the spark. There he goes. There it goes, okay. I saw him double Ooh. back. I was like, he triggered it. Did it Did it not go? Yeah, EMP has a little delay because it, it right. animation goes off and then it does that like warbling Works. thing? Yeah, then it does its effect. So it's not like taser; it's instant. This so is excellent looks, timing looks good as for, well. He's, yeah, it's look it looks good for Hitman here. Yeah, he's he's basically on his way to the last clue, and uh, it's on the way to the exit. So uh, or just side KO, front KO. The guy kept silent assassin, but it was a front KO. It, so it was close the, combat heard. Yeah. So that's going to be a restart, and uh, and we're watching I Like Hitman head to the exit right now. Yeah, this okay. is look, this is uh, yeah, this is it. We're going for a decider. Going to Makes, a decider. Uh, perfectly fair for the final match. With the regulation. So yeah, so we'll uh, we'll take a breather there. Uh, and yeah, both players taking their own map pick, which is kind of expected this late in the in the tournament. You expect when a player picks a map that that's their map. They know what they're doing. You know, if you're if you're taking them on on that map, it's going to be a challenge. So, and uh, and we're going to Dartmoor next. All right, so Dartmoor, another incredibly fast map, much like Whittleton Creek. 
I would say it's probably twice as fast. Or actually, I mean, I think I've I've seen and heard spins that can be completed in like a minute twenty seconds. Yeah, and well, and <laughs> that's mainly because Dartmoor is uh, is one of those meta strategy maps. You know, what no matter what the disguise is, kill condition, anything, uh, you can take care of most of that stuff in similar ways. You know. Um, if you need a drowning or an electrocution, uh, it's it's just getting uh, Alexa Carlisle to that uh, to that bathroom. Otherwise, it's an office isolation. Um, uh, and you can do falling objects upstairs as well. Like there's just so many things that you can uh, you can do in Dartmoor in so many different places in Dartmoor. So so yeah, I expect to see some uh, some very quick play here. Not that Woodleton Creek wasn't quick. Not that Haven wasn't even quick for a Haven spin. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're in Wilton Creek and Haven in like guessing half an hour ish. Uh Coates has the fastest spin in a match at like one twenty seven. Right, yeah, so exactly. Notice the complete yeah, lack I mean, of gasps after that statement, by the way. Well, I don't know what what's your what is your thought on Dartmoor being the last map before the grand finals? I mean, it's not one that I would pick. It's not one that I would pick. Um, I I personally prefer uh, I I'll call it the buff guy method. Uh, big maps for deciders, uh, kind of showcasing the overall skill of an individual hitman player. Um, because with this, it's kind of more who gets into the level first, who gets their run going first, and, uh, who yeah. doesn't, who doesn't rip, right? Because one yeah. rip yeah. can, can ruin a Dartmoor run, and if your opponent doesn't rip, well, that's that then. Yeah, competitively, it's, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if it's actually fun to play. It's definitely not fun for a viewing experience. Right, right. <laughs> when I imagine, like, it's got to be so, uh, it's got to be so frightening for the players as well to take care of any of, of these spins against their opponent because they know, hey, if I'm good at this map, they're also going to be good at this map, you know? And so you can get in your head if you do make a mistake or you do miss a timing or you do have to restart. And then all of a sudden now it, it's just kind of, it snowballs into a worse effect. Yeah, I, I can't imagine this is uh, like going back into the whole mentality thing. It's like T-Nort's feeling good about it. Cause, right, like, exactly. Because we heard him kind of, um, he was kind of hard on himself after Waterton Creek. And so if he's carrying that into Dartmoor, and I like Hitman's like, okay, I forced the decider, you know, that's, that's the yeah. mental game one right there. So both players just need to kind of reset. It's a new map. It's basically 0-0, zero, zero, and first one to win, they get out. They move yeah, on. Yeah, it's sudden death. It really is something because it it's is. this map. Now, I'll mention that, you know, the decider map is untimed, but this is Dartmoor, so I don't think it matters if we have a timer on it or not because it's going to be quick. Um, it's looking it's like I like Hitman is just practicing some be. isolations, uh, but the spin itself is going to be live here in like 30 seconds, so get your predictions in if you want to spend those G monies. Who do you think's moving on to the final? Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, Pretty Son? I'm sure there's more to find in Zachary's room. Zachary. I'm not feeling too good. All right, I'm going to close the submissions for predictions. Spin is live. We have injected poison for Alexa Carlisle as the photographer. So, pretty quick one, uh, and it's going to, I mean, it needs to be a live kill. So we are going to see, uh, we're going to see basically everybody else but Alexa get knocked out. But uh, yeah, she just needs to be stuck with a lethal injection. Uh, and then these players have to grab the case file and get out. So we'll probably see similar planning on both sides. Yeah, I like Hitman. Looks like he's already in. He's already in. He, Mort's yeah. uh, killing he, his lower yeah. slots. 
no yeah like a map like this that could be important too like Absolutely. getting in as fast as you possibly can okay there's the uh there's the dart gun grabbed by like hitman probably see him grab the uh, photographer disguise first and then head up to alexa's office the timing should be fine for that I like Hitman. Very Not wasting time. That's the quick. extra dart so that he can quick pick up this disguise. Really fast. Okay. Nord's going to be doing the same Seeing thing. Seeing something similar, but that first dart hit that bush. Oh, no. This is not going well for Nord. That's going to delay him substantially. He's continuing. Right, he is able to he is able to get them down, but he is starting a little bit behind that. Um, okay, I like Hitman starting with the uh, the sped up uh, version of the of the start. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private. Yeah, so that's why Alexa is actually down on the ground floor. Right. Yeah, and both players have the same thought with that. Uh, this angle is going to be a little bit harder for Tinor to get this shot. He does manage to get it, even though she was moving, so that was well done. Oh, nice. Looks like I'm a little behind there. And, uh, yeah, I, I like Hitman. Has the, uh, the case file already taken care of. Lethal injection for... It's a good use of patience like there. Man. Oh man, this is this, this is, is so close. This is so Although T North still has to <sighs> side, side KO, KO, but, but it was he can still, still, still this. green guns. He can still salvage this. He's just got to stick her as she's running away, but he's got to move quick because I like Hitman's about to exit. I don't. Th I don't think you can stick when it's I when they're panicking. I like Hitman is done. Nah. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's KO. it. The game goes to I like Hitman, and he's gonna be. Uh, in the grand finals versus going Ducker. Going to the grand finals versus Ducker, exactly. And uh, yeah, I mean, we saw we saw an incredible haven from Toby, and I like Hitman rips at the end there. And now for the decider map, we see a reverse. I like Hitman gets out just as Toby rips at an unfortunate time. But again, very fast Dartmore. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this late in the tournament, like my heart just breaks seeing seeing these guys get knocked out because they're just so good at Hitman. But uh. But that's just the way it is. I mean, it's well played by both players. I like Hitman just uh, able to take take Dart more. Um, we're going to go to the brackets real quick and take a look at those. This was the final match of the lower brackets uh, for the console brackets. As soon as this load in, loads in, we'll show you guys the finals, which will be what times tomorrow, Punky? What time range tomorrow, well, I should say, since it's not officially... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but maybe sometime between 1700 CEST to 22. But uh, cuz it's dependent on this match cuz the the winner of this match has to schedule the map picks and right. bans. Right, right. With Ducker. So, go to hitmaps.com, and uh, you will see the matches when they're listed in the upcoming matches section. Uh, neither is listed right now, so we won't be looking at the, uh, the upcoming matches. But uh, well played to both players. Uh, do come back for Ducker versus I Like Hitman. And, uh, and who is playing in the PC uh, bracket? Can you remind us, Funky? Is it... Sorry, could you repeat that? Who, who's, uh, who's playing in the PC final? So it's Frody and Chris X3. Okay, Frody and Chris. So yeah, so we've got two finals, finals matches coming tomorrow. Uh, if my PC brackets load, and that's what I'll show you guys. But in the meantime, uh, let's see who else is live so that we can give them a raid. Uh, Punky, thank you so much for, for coming out and for casting with me. Bad Gateway says, says this. So that's okay, we'll just stay on this. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for coming out and casting with me. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's 2 a.m., so... <laughs>
It's two a.m. and uh, and you've got your uh, your vaccination, so you're dealing with that. Yeah, I'm, I I got a I got a fever and it's two a.m. So good times. Well, uh, we'll go and raid Drago. Uh, as I see, Drago is currently live playing some Hitman Three. So go say hi. Uh, but good games to both players. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you again, GK Punky, for co-casting with me and for adminning. Uh, everybody here is wonderful. Come back tomorrow for the finals. Check hitmaps.com for the upcoming matches to see when those times are officially scheduled. And, uh, yeah, that's all that I've, I've got. Anything you want to say, Punky? No, I think thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in for the finals if you can. Yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.